Hi guys, welcome to another video. Uh, today I'm going to finally review the new MacBook Pro M1 against this Alienware machine I have here. Uh, I've been looking for an upgrade for a while now and uh, people are saying so many good things about the Mac M1 that it made me really consider getting one. I, I've used Mac for what, 12 to 13 years, then I dropped and now I'm using Windows. So, but I, you know, I don't mind going back if, if it will perform better and why not? So I'm not gonna do a very scientific um, review here. I'm not gonna be showing you benchmarks, those you can find on the internet, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna do an, a video editing on this machine, on the Alienware I have over here, which has a 99 processor and a 2080 uh, graphics card against the M1 uh, with 16 gigs of memory um, MacBook Pro. Uh, I'm going to open Photoshop, I'm going to edit, I'm going to load 16 images in, in a panorama with 61 megapixels from my camera uh, because in my machine took like half an hour to to load up all the all the the pictures so this is when i started to consider that i really needed an upgrade so i guess we can go get into it so i'm going to edit the video here and the same video with the same settings uh, over here so initially i i didn't know this and i was editing i used davinci resolve and davinci resolve has a free version online but the free version doesn't really uh, explore the full capabilities of and like that you can get the full potential of uh, of your machine so i i got a code uh, from a friend of mine uh, just to test uh, how it is and see the differences so i can tell you that before this i'm going to show you i'm going to show you the videos now of the free version of what the free version does on the windows and on the mac i've done it three times on both and then you will see who, what it was the results so as you guys can see, I have the exact same settings, two different machines, and well, we'll see what we can do. Can you hear the fans on the Alienware? Everyone is going crazy. The MacBook Pro is so silent every single time. So now that you've seen that this machine takes 14 minutes and this machine takes 9 minutes. I'm going to show you now the paid version to see the difference. Uh, I was blown away by the difference. So you just, just, just have a look what happens when I put the, the full software. Both computers have the full version software. So I run them both again to see the differences. If the Mac, one, Mac M1 will improve by a lot and if the, if the, um, the laptop is going to improve by a lot. So uh, and here are the results. So on the Alienware, it took five minutes to edit the video and on the Mac M1 took nine minutes and 20 seconds. So guys, as you can see, the results are pretty impressive. Five minutes against nine minutes. So the M1 didn't really make any difference using DaVinci Resolve, uh, the free version or the paid version, while the Windows one, it's very, very different. So if you're not planning to pay for DaVinci Resolve, obviously, as you can see, the M1 Mac is going to give you a benefit to that into the into the into into the speed uh, compared to to Windows. Uh, I also tested this on a friend of friend of mine desktop. He has a 3080 graphics card with an i7 processor from last year, and I can tell you that I got about 10 minutes. So it was one minute slower than the Mac with the free version. So if this one it was 14 minutes and with a free with a paid version is five i'm assuming that the same video in that machine is going to be two and a half to three minutes and that's pretty amazing i have to say so it's a nine minute video so it's pretty pretty fast so i'm really impressed and i really like the macbook pro to be honest with you uh, it's super silent i really like that the fans haven't come up once since uh, i have the machine here i have been the machine on uh, pretty much since i got it uh, and I still have 62% of battery. I don't know when my friend gave me the computer, I don't know how much I had, but after six or seven renders at maximum and things like that, uh, I'm very surprised that uh, I still have 62%. Sorry guys, I got cut because my memory card got full and uh, I had to put a new one. So as I was saying, uh, the battery on this MacBook, it's pretty amazing. And I really like this computer, I have to say. Would I get it? I don't know. If, if, I, if my requirements change, and I need to do some editing on the road, I would definitely consider. But I also would like, I would look, I would look at maybe the, a new i7 with a, or a Ryzen 
a processor in a 3060, 3070 uh, machine, maybe the same size, 13, 15 would be better. Um, maybe I would, I would prefer that, uh, seeing that uh, the use of the GPU in DaVinci Resolve is much, much better than what Mac is using because Mac does everything over the CPU and not the GPU. So hopefully on the new uh, M1X Max or whatever they're going to be called uh, CPUs, they also have a better graphics card and they will utilize much better these softwares nowadays because the softwares, they all use GPU as well to compensate uh, with the CPU and is, is much, much better. So in here now uh, you can see uh, the edit I did with my, with a 16 panel. Uh, you can see the panorama I did here, the editing. Uh, as you can see, the Mac M1 on this on this situation beat the Alienware by a good margin. Uh, they were hand in hand for a while. At some point, Alienware was faster, and then M1 it was faster. But in the end of the day, the the M1 won by I don't know, maybe a minute, maybe 30, 40 seconds. That that was a huge plus. Uh, but that wouldn't make me choose an M1, even though I do more photography than I do video. I wouldn't. You know, I wouldn't go for this machine instead of that machine just because of that. In the end of the day, video is much heavier on, on the machine and it really pushes a lot from, from the computers. So I am very definitely very impressed by what DaVinci Resolve Paid version does uh, in compared to the M1. And I'm surprised that everyone is saying so many good things about the Mac M1. And I was really impressed when I first touched the computer and again, the sound uh, that doesn't make any, you know, no fans uh, running. I know it has fans, but it's very hard to make them run. Uh, apart from that, you know, it's, it's a Mac. It works. It works well, uh, but it's just not, not as fast as I hoped it would be. And as I saw people talking about it, like when you look online, everyone just says that the M1 is a, is a destroyer for whatever is out there. And it's really not true. Maybe in certain, certain other things, maybe it is, maybe music. I don't know. I don't do music or, or other things I don't do. Uh, in the end of the day, I wanted to do the tests for exactly what I do. I, you know, it's, it's, it's hard for me to, I don't want to do all the normal tests like everybody else. I do, I want to do the tests that, you know, it matters to me and people that do the same things as me. I don't want to be showing all the things that you can see online when it comes to benchmarks and, and, and things like that. I don't think it makes any sense for, for this video. So I'm going to still consider an M1 uh, as my laptop as I'm using a Dell uh, XP13. And that one definitely struggles to, to edit videos. I can't edit videos on that machine uh, as good as I would on the M1. So I would, I would still consider, but chances are I would prefer to get a, a desktop machine uh, with maybe with a gaming graphics card. Maybe that would be ideal. Um, they get a bit heavier, that's true. Uh, but yeah, it depends of, of what my requirements are going to be in the future and also what are your, your requirements are. You know, if you're never planning to buy DaVinci Resolve and you want you like Mac and you know you want to stay in the ecosystem yeah it's a great machine uh, so uh, yeah I definitely recommend that now if you want to if you want more power if you want to move forward quicker if you want to have more options then you know a desktop or, or a laptop uh, would be definitely better so I don't think that the M1s are what people are saying they are they are very good machines but they are not all that this is this is my opinion and if not if you disagree yeah, comment down below go ahead if you think I should have tested something else I didn't feel free to to let me know and and yeah so this is my opinion about uh, uh, the new M1 Mac and uh, how it compares to the competition and this computer is not even one of the latest computers this computer has probably two years old right now so um, yeah that's that's interesting that's true that this computer is more expensive than this one or it was when it was new but it's also a 17 inch uh, laptop so it's much bigger as well so it goes it goes from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, give me the thumbs up if you like the video. Uh, subscribe if you are not already. And uh, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye.